Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a review, a first impression, and a wearability test for this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. This foundation claims to be a full coverage blurring powder with a lifelike matte finish that bends and breathes with skin for 12 hour wear. So before we start, I just have to tell you that since it's winter here in Canada, my skin now is more dry than oily. So I usually get dry on the side of my nose, side of my cheeks, especially because I am doing something to lighten up the dark spots on the side of my cheek so that is a little dry. I get a little oily on my T-zone. So this retails for 50 Canadian dollars for 11 grams. So when it comes to packaging, I like that it is very sleek. It has that distinctive Makeup Forever just black and white logo and it's easy to open because it has a tab here where you can push and then you can easily just open it up and it has the powder here and the cushion that you use on the other side. It's very light and very convenient to carry around inside your makeup bag. So when I went to the Pro Store, we decided that I'll go with the Y235 shade. But when I went to the Sephora's website where you can try to find your shade, I tried to match my MAC NC30, the shade that I'm usually in with MAC products. And the equivalent shade for the Makeup Forever one is Y355, which is far, far from shade Y235. So I suggest that you really go to the store and swatch it on the side of your neck, swatch it on your chest, just to make sure that you get the right shade. So I'm just going to use my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. This is an all-in-one primer and moisturizer. So the reason that I got curious for this foundation is because they actually advertised this and there's this girl doing her makeup with just one swipe and it's just like a very gentle swipe. Like all her imperfections, like all her imperfections was gone. She had a very good skin. So I'm hoping that I would have the same effect. And I like it because it's very portable. You can just put it inside your makeup kit and you're done. And application techniques. For optimal coverage, apply the foundation using the black side of the sponge and use the white sponge for a lighter makeup look. So, let's be looks like it has two layers on even though 
it's the same layer as this but oh my god the coverage is really good I'm just gonna apply a light coat from the black sponge on my left side so that they're even you can still see the line this is lighter than this so we'll just this is like the blast from the past when there's only one shade of foundation and everybody gets the same foundation and you look like a floating head. Disregard the shade. This foundation feels super velvety smooth and it covered all my imperfections besides my very strange spot there. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed that I didn't get the shade and it's from the pro store so I can't return it. But I love the feel of it. Instantly, it hid all my imperfections. You know, what would make this better is if I put bronzer and blush on my face so it doesn't look like I'm very, very white. So I'm gonna do that first and I'm gonna tell you more of my first impression on this. So I put bronzer on the side of my face and a little blush and a little highlight so it looks so much better now. So I can give you my first impression. I love how it feels and the way it looks. It, it doesn't look too matte. It's true when they say velvet matte because it doesn't look like it's very matte to the point that it's obvious that it's powder. It doesn't cling to my dry spot on the side of my cheeks because I know I, I'm very dry here. It doesn't cling on that texture over there and to the touch it feels matte and velvety like I love it so when I applied it on it looks like I put on a liquid foundation and then set it with powder and then spray it with a setting spray that's how amazing it looks on the skin I'm not even kidding I was very surprised and that's why a lot of people love this but this is just my first impression I don't know how it would wear the whole 8 hours the whole 12 hours so I'll update you periodically, maybe the 4th, the 8th, and the 12th hour just to see how it wears throughout the day. But right off the bat, I am actually super in love with this foundation. fourth hour the foundation thinned out but the blurring effect can still be seen and there's no flaking or caking and the only thing that I noticed is that the side of my nose doesn't have any foundation on and this is very common with my other foundation so just make sure to put concealer on the side of your nose. On the 8th hour, it thinned out more, but the blurring effect is still there. And my skin looks like it's filtered. And again, the only bad thing that I've noticed is that I don't have any foundation on the side of my nose. So this foundation also claims to be waterproof. So this bottle has water in it and I'm just going to spray my face all over with water and we'll see how this performs. Now it's time to wipe the water. I thinned out my foundation a bit, which I actually like. I don't see a huge difference. Like nothing really moved and nothing got swiped off. If anything, I find that spraying my face with water actually made it look better. <laughs> blush move? I don't know. I don't really see a huge difference so I'm gonna say that this is also waterproof. So here are my final thoughts. I'm giving this foundation a 4 out of 5 stars. I was really impressed on how this foundation performed and the only reason I'm giving this 4 out of 5 stars is because of the shade issue. I just find that it's very confusing to find your right match with this foundation. It worked out at the end, but it was 
just quite a struggle to know which shade you're really in. And the other one star that I remove is because of the sponge. I just wish that they have a sturdier sponge. But the black part is okay. The white part, when I was like sinking my nails onto it, it left a lot of mark. And I felt like this part of the sponge where I usually put my nails are damaged. So I just hope that they have a sturdier sponge. But overall, I'm very impressed with this foundation. For the longest time, I had been an oily skin girl. So I have tried powder foundation from the drugstore and I even tried um, high-end foundations such as MAC. And this one just don't compare. It is very smooth on the skin. It's very light and I like the coverage that it gives. When you put this on, it looks like you have used a liquid foundation and then set it with a powder foundation. That's how good of a coverage it can give your skin. I have a few tips when using this foundation. First, just make sure that you use the cream products that you want to use before using this. Like cream contour, cream blush, cream highlight because those cream products are harder to blend when the powder foundation is already on your skin and as always use the cream products first before powder products um, and the second tip is to color correct first before using this although this can really give you good coverage it would be nicer if you color correct your imperfections first like if you have freckles on the side of your cheeks color correct that first if you have blue tone under your eyes put a peach corrector first and then put your concealer also put concealer on the side of your nose that way the foundation would stay longer on that part and it's also helpful if you use a finishing spray or any setting spray just to remove the powder look on your face and I just feel like when I use a setting spray it just merge all my face products together it just looks more seamless with my bronzer my blush and everything so just make sure to spray your face after using this powder foundation on my next video i'll be reviewing this matte face and body foundation i have learned about this foundation when i was in makeup school and this has been always suggested when we have brides that doesn't want a lot of coverage or for mature clients because this doesn't really mattify your skin it just really um, evens out your complexion so watch out for that review and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated when that new video comes out but for now don't forget to watch my foundation playlist where i reviewed high-end and drugstore foundation thanks so, so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye